Thank you very much, Madam President. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time that I speak before this House, and I would like to do so on behalf of those who cannot speak in this House. Uh, we um, denounced the attack on October 7th, and we still do that. We stand by the side of the Israeli families that have hostages and who are suffering. But I would like to ask you to reserve the same unreserved condemnation to the reaction of the Israeli government. More than 41,000 people have lost their lives. Thousands of people are injured, and many have disappeared, most of which are children and women. Nine out of ten people are displaced in the Gaza Strip, forced displacement is considered to be a war crime. Killing civilians, journalists, and humanitarian staff haven't come to an end. They're continuing, and we've seen what's been happening in schools and how uh, people count the dead by uh, weighing uh, human remains found under the rubble. We have to be committed to rights and freedoms. Uh, we have to have the right to protect peace. Otherwise, we, we, we would be setting an irreversible uh, precedent. Uh, and in other contexts, we condemn leaders, but we're not condemning Netanyahu. These are double standards. We don't understand. We're blocking humanitarian aid. There are human rights violations. There is more and more hate speech, and none of this should be allowed. We have to denounce the occupation of the Palestinian territories and illegal settlements that fly in the face of the UN Security Council resolutions. We've got to recognize the Palestinian state within the framework of a two-state solution. We mustn't stigmatize UN agencies. We have to overhaul the uh, EU-Israel Association Agreement. And no, it's not anti-Semitism to denounce what's happening in Palestine. Otherwise, we would be doing it, we would be committing anti-Semitism against the Palestinians who are also Semites. We want a ceasefire Palestine is not a contested territory pipeline or are you going to stay against also the solutions of United Nations come on who's going to respect us like this thank you thank you next thank you very much next speaker uh, mr Hirata Vidal